Ever wondered how to travel with babies and toddlers without losing your sanity? It's a question that has stumped many a seasoned traveler. When it comes to journeying with the youngest members of our families, the challenges can seem as vast as the open road or the open skies themselves. Managing the delicate dance of sleep schedules while on the move, keeping the little ones entertained without the comfort of home, warding off those unexpected tantrums that can strike at any moment, and packing efficiently, these are the hurdles every parent must navigate. And let's not forget the complex jigsaw puzzle that is fitting everything into a single suitcase. Yes, traveling with babies and toddlers may seem like a daunting task, a test of patience and logistics. But fear not, because we're here to help you navigate these challenges so you can enjoy your travels. Packing for a trip can be daunting, especially when you have to consider the needs of your little ones. But don't worry, we've got you covered with some practical tips that can turn this challenge into a breeze. First things first, let's talk about the non-negotiables, diapers and baby wipes. You'll want to pack enough diapers to cover the travel duration plus a little extra just in case. Remember, it's better to have a few too many than not enough. As for baby wipes, they are your best friend. They can be used for everything from wiping little bottoms to cleaning sticky fingers, and even freshening up during long travels, so make sure to pack plenty. Next on the list, snacks. Healthy, easy-to-carry snacks are a must when traveling with toddlers. Think bite-sized fruits, cheese cubes, or cereal bars. These can be real lifesavers when hunger strikes in between mealtimes, or if your little one gets picky with unfamiliar food options. Now, on to toys. It's tempting to bring your child's entire toy box but resist the urge. Instead, choose a few of their favorites, preferably ones that are compact and versatile. These can serve as a source of comfort in unfamiliar surroundings and keep them entertained during those long waits or extended travel periods. Don't forget to pack clothing that's comfortable and easy to change. Layered outfits can be a great choice as they allow for quick adjustments to varying temperatures. And always pack at least one extra set of clothes for those unexpected spills or accidents. Lastly, pack a small first aid kit with essentials like band-aids, antiseptic wipes, and any necessary medication. It's always better to be prepared for minor injuries or illnesses that might pop up along the way. And there you have it. Remember, the key is not to pack everything but to pack smart. Choose items that are versatile and can serve multiple purposes. This way you'll have everything you need without lugging around excess baggage. Remember the key is to pack smart, not heavy. One of the biggest challenges when traveling with young children is dealing with disrupted sleep schedules. So, let's delve into some strategies that can help manage sleep schedules during travel, ensuring your journey is as smooth as possible. Firstly, consider adjusting sleep times gradually before the trip. If you're traveling to a different time zone, this can be a game changer. Start by shifting your child's bedtime and nap times closer to the schedule of your destination a few days before you leave. This incremental adjustment can help your little one adapt to the new routine more easily once you've arrived, reducing the shock of a sudden change. Next, the golden rule of sleep schedules, consistency. Try to maintain your child's bedtime routine as much as possible during travel. We understand it's easier said than done when you're in a new environment, but even small familiarities can provide comfort. If they're used to a bedtime story, make sure you pack their favorite book. If they have a special lullaby, have it ready on your phone. Consistency isn't just about time. It's about maintaining those comforting bedtime rituals that signal to your child it's time to sleep. Remember, it's not just about night sleep, naps are equally important. Travel can be stimulating and exciting for little ones, and missing naps can lead to overtiredness. So, ensure you're scheduling in those essential nap times, even if it means a brief pause in your sightseeing adventures. And lastly, be patient. Adjusting to a new sleep schedule can be tough for anyone, let alone a baby or toddler. There might be a few rough nights, but remember, it's temporary. Keep your expectations realistic and remember, you're not alone. Many parents are navigating this very challenge. With a bit of planning, you can help your little ones adjust to new time zones and ensure everyone gets a good night's sleep. So, whether you're crossing one time zone or ten, remember these tips and tricks to manage sleep schedules while traveling. Happy journeying! Keeping young children entertained during long journeys can be a challenge, but with a bit of creativity, it can also be a lot of fun. Firstly, never underestimate the power of a child's favorite toy or book. These familiar items can provide a sense of comfort and security, especially in unfamiliar environments. If your child has a toy they simply can't live without, make sure it's packed in your carry-on. 
The same goes for those well-loved bedtime storybooks. They can be a lifesaver during a long layover or a delayed flight. Next, consider the world of digital entertainment. There's an abundance of child-friendly apps, ebooks, and audiobooks available to download. These can provide hours of fun, learning, and engagement. Whether it's an interactive storybook, a fun puzzle game, or a soothing lullaby collection, there's something to suit every age and interest. Remember to pack headphones that are comfortable for your child and to monitor their screen time. Simple travel games are another great way to keep your little ones entertained. I Spy and Spot the Car are classic games that require no materials and can be easily adapted to your surroundings. You can also invent your own games based on your child's interests. For example, if they love animals, you could create a game where they have to spot different animals or animal signs during your journey. Lastly, don't forget the power of creativity. Bring along a sketchbook and some crayons for your child to draw what they see on their journey. This not only keeps them busy, but also encourages them to observe their surroundings and express their experiences. All these tips not only help to keep your child entertained, but also turn travel time into quality bonding time with your little one. The key is to be prepared, adaptable, and willing to join in the fun. Remember, the journey is just as important as the destination, so make it fun and memorable for your little ones. No matter how well you plan, unexpected situations can always arise when traveling with young children. And that's okay, that's part of the adventure. What's important is how you handle these curveballs. Traveling with toddlers is a bit like being in a play where the script is written as you go along. Toddlers might throw tantrums, fall sick, or lose their favorite toy in the most inconvenient of places. The key is to stay calm. Your child looks to you for reassurance. So if you're calm, they're more likely to be too. Let's start with tantrums. They're inevitable, but they're also manageable. Try to find out what's causing the upset. Is your child hungry, tired, or overstimulated? Once you identify the trigger, you can address it. A small snack, a nap, or a quiet moment might be all they need. And here's a pro tip. Distraction works wonders. A new toy, a game, or even a funny face can often turn tears into laughter in seconds. So always have a few tricks up your sleeve. Next, sickness. Always pack a basic first aid kit with essentials like fever reducers, band-aids, and any necessary prescription medications. If your child does fall ill, seek professional medical help promptly. Don't panic, but also don't delay. Remember, prevention is better than cure. Stick to your child's routine as closely as possible. Make sure they're eating well, getting enough sleep, and washing their hands regularly. Finally, have a plan B. Flights can get delayed, weather can change, and attractions can close unexpectedly. Be ready to switch gears if needed. Maybe that means finding a new activity, or perhaps it's just retreating to the hotel room for a quiet afternoon. And one last thing, keep essential items handy. Snacks, water, wipes, spare clothes, and comfort items should be within easy reach at all times. Remember, the key to dealing with unexpected situations is to stay calm and flexible. So take a deep breath, embrace the unpredictability, and remember, you're creating memories that will last a lifetime. Traveling with babies and toddlers may seem daunting, but with the right strategies, it can be a rewarding and enjoyable experience for the whole family. Let's quickly recap what we've covered today. We began by tackling the challenge of packing. Remember, less is often more. Prioritize essentials and consider items that serve multiple purposes. Next, we discussed managing sleep schedules. Even on the go, maintaining a routine can help your child adjust to new time zones and environments. Then we explored how to keep children entertained during travel. A mix of familiar toys and new surprises can go a long way in preventing boredom and meltdowns. Finally, we delved into handling unexpected situations. Flexibility and a calm demeanor can turn potential hiccups into memorable stories. So next time you plan a trip, don't dread the journey. Instead, embrace the adventure of traveling with your little ones. Safe travels.